Welcome back to Three Sisters in Wigan. Next up, we have the 8 to 12 year olds in cadets. They've given us some fantastic racing in rounds one and two. Can they do it all again? Here's Alan with the grid positions and race commentary. New player in town this month is James Appleton on pole from the Zip Young Guns team. Ryan Morgan's on P2. True Love uh, was off during the latter stages last month. He's on three. Duncalf on four. The captain, Travis Kirk, on five is alongside William Hunter. Then comes Middlehurst and Packenham Walsh. Pierce Packenham Walsh with a name that long. Have to charge him extra for the typing. Uh, Liam Murphy's on nine. Josh Fry on ten. Joe Byrne is on 11, followed by Connor Savage. Joseph O'Reardon and Luke Hughes are on row seven. Luke Hughes second at round one. Then comes Sam Vanderpump and Bradley Ord. Abigail Gerry, last month's winner, is on row nine. P17, then David McNichol. Sweeney, the championship leader after round one, is on 19. Scott Rickson goes off 20. Then Colin Llewellyn and Jordan Horton. They're followed by Ryan Burns and Ethan Patterson. On 25 is Jacob Huntstone, second last month. James McClay won the Driver of the Day award last month for his drive up through the field to seventh. And Liam Kelly is the championship leader. Cadets for ages 8 to 12, sponsored by kkckartshop.com. Uh, just a word on the track conditions as the cadets get ready for their race. Um, there's about four or five different surfaces on this circuit and some of the surfaces are very, very wet still. Others are completely bone dry. There's a dry line though, so uh, we should see a split decision with tyre choice. Well, I'd be surprised if anybody's on anything other than slicks out there, but uh, let's have a look. Kelly's down the inside line through turn one. Championship leader must have made up six or seven places. He has at least six or seven places through turn one. Championship leader's been the most consistent driver so far. 27 off at the back of the field. That's William Hunter. Sam Vanderpump starting 15th, uh, cart 14. He's up 10 places going through the hairpin. Puts a move on Burn there for fifth. Cart one, the championship leader, Liam Kelly. There he is, yellow bodywork graphics. He's made up 12. One person that won't be making any places up is Scott Rickson. Sam. Scott, the cadets have just gone out. You haven't started. What's happened? Well, my dad went to start it, and the pull cord come out the engine. So, um, so it, we had to take the car off the grid, and then my dad's just got off and on the trolley now. So, was there no chance of you starting it any other way? No, no, the, no, because the pull cord's come out, so we can't start it now. Bad news for Scott Ricks, and he's not the only one. Ben, disaster for James Appleton. He retires out of the race before the green flag is even shown from P1 on the grid. So James Appleton is out. Yeah, it stings a bit when you make the long trip to uh, enter the competition and can't even make the start. I know Scott Rickson was so pleased to be in the top 10 in this championship. He was in ninth place. As we see Danny Sweeney, the championship leader after round one, nip through for third place. I think he's going to lose it through the left-hander at Lunar. He does, slips back to fourth. Scott Rickson was delighted to be inside the top ten in ninth place after the first two rounds. Uh, he'll slip down the championship table now, though. And James Appleton, as we're going to look at, has true love the race leader, cart 30, 30th place in the championship after his one appearance last month. That's last month's winner, Abigail Gerry. James uh, Appleton, he'll be back, though. Zip Young Guns driver, as indeed is uh, true love. And uh, Sweeney looking for that third spot up the inside. Makes it stick this time. Sam Vanderpump, the victim. Back with the leaders and Gary right on the back of True Love as they go around the right-hander. Sweeney is into third place. They sweep through this left-hander now out onto Rogersons. Down towards Luna. Sweeney gets contact from uh, Sam Vanderpump there. Just lifted up his uh, rear left tyre. Uh, just unsettled the cart enough for him to lose three places. Let's have another look at the uh, Pyre Research replay. Watch, he just, look at that, just puts his front nose cone under the uh, rear left tyre of Sweeney. Sweeney won't be very happy about that, I dare say. And it's uh, Abigail Gary, last month's winner, back into the lead. These two uh, had a bit, of, a bit of a battle at the front of the field. Gap between Gary and Kelly, first to third. Championship leader already up to third. Incredible performance by uh, Liam Kelly. James McClay, number two cart there. Driver of the day at round two, Patterson and Huntstone, three and four getting together. There is uh, Liam Kelly, championship leader. He's already up to third place. Fantastic series of performances he's putting together here, Liam Kelly, and uh, deserves to 
be wearing that number one plate, the Modus TV graphics on his cart. Quick look at the race leader, Abigail Gerry, last month's winner. Don't think that uh, she's just a cute face. She's a racing demon. Gap between Kelly and McClay, 1.18 seconds. Keep an eye on that. If you want to start karting in the UK for a free information DVD and brochure, call Graham Smith on 01926 812177 or email him secretary at abkc.org.uk. You can start racing carts in the UK from eight years of age. There are circuits all around the country and uh, keep that pen and paper handy. We'll uh, give you some information about cart circuits in the north of England and Wales later on in this programme. So get a pen and paper handy as we get a look at uh, cart three, Jacob Huntstone. Great performance by Huntstone last month, finished second. He's third in the championship so far and he's uh, coming in behind James McClay now. McClay cart number two. Gap between Kelly and McClay's close. It was 1.18, it's now 0.96. Kelly there in third place currently. They are the race leaders. It's Gary and has True Love. They had quite a battle last month, these pair. True Love, uh, the victim of some contact later on in the race, which uh, robbed him of a decent position. Oh, contact this time between. It's uh, Josh Fry and Jacob Hunstone. Hunstone third in the championship. Disaster for him. Contact as they came into Dunlop as Fry looked down the inside for a spot on Huntstone. Here it is. Well, the side by side, it's front wheel to front wheel. Six and one half a dozen of the other. It's a racing incident. You could argue that Huntstone might have uh, been better off giving him a little bit of room, assuming that he saw him, of course. And that is very smelly, that stagnant water there. Huntstone absolutely gutted. Fry's Championship has just never got going since round one, frankly. There's Huntstone, he's not very happy. Tenth of round one, second in round two, and a DNF now. We'll drop him down the championship table. Looks like McClay's getting closer to the championship leader there. Patterson, Sweeney, Llewellyn, Burns and Vanderpump fifth to ninth. Little train there, William Hunter 27, going through the shot. He only started racing in late 2005. Here's that train, Patterson, followed by Sweeney. And the uh, eight cart of Conor Llewellyn. Ryan Burns comes next, then Vanderpump. Luke Hughes for Global Tiles rounds out the top ten as McClay puts in the fastest lap, 48.356. Here are the leaders, still Gary that has it. Not for long, though, as True Love sweeps up the inside at Dunlop Airpin. Out onto Paddock Strait. As I said earlier, these two had a, a great battle early on in the race last month, but it was Gary who ended up coming out on top. As True Love runs wide out of the left hander onto Rogerson's, Gary reassumes the lead position. Connor Savage, uh, mechanical flag off on the corner of the track is Jordan Horton. Warning flag for Josh Fry, car 20. As Liam Kelly, the championship leader, comes under pressure now from James McClay, second in the championship. Not much to choose between them. 23 is Chris Middlehurst having a lonely battle at the back of the field. Sam's caught up with a cadet mum. I'm into crew today with Connor Savage's mum, Vicky. Vicky, he came in, what happened? Connor, his bumper was coming off, he's coming down the street, seeing his bumper is off. He was sent in by a mechanical flag. Had to get the boy back out, so kicked his bumper back in and sent him back out. And you did that all by yourself? All by myself, stand up for the women. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, a woman that prefers the smell of Castrol GTX to Chanel number no. five. Now that's my kind of woman. None of your namby pamby makeup and restaurant sorts. Give me a woman whose idea of a good dinner date is fish and chips and a cherry aid. Needless to say, I live on my own. Business end of the race. Last lap board as they go across the line. Gary trying to go down the outside. True Love trying to squeeze her to the outside and give himself the room. And she's driven straight past him. True Love saw Gary coming down the outside up the straight, did exactly what he should do. He's trying to drive her as far to the outside as he can to give himself the uh, turn in point, the apex four turn one. But Gary was so quick, she was past him. Down paddock for the last time. Gary should be defending here. She far enough across. True Love looking up the inside and makes it work. Bit of contact between them into the left hander. True Love's got it. Two to three car lengths. That should be enough. Quick look over his shoulder. Is he coming to the left hander? Gary won't go outside this time. It's what she did last month. But uh, she's too far behind. Still Kelly in third. And McClay there in fourth place. So Kelly will retain his championship lead and extend that championship lead. True Love out of Luna for the last time. Should hug the inside line. Doesn't do. They come side by side. Across the line. 15 thousandths of a second separate them. How close do you like your racing? 15 thousandths of a second 
between Has True Love and Abigail Gary, who's just beaten this month, but a great battle. Liam Kelly, the championship leader, another great drive for third place. He will extend his championship lead. McClay's fastest lap, 48.356, the fastest lap of the race. Sweeney comes through for fifth in the end, dropping Patterson down to sixth. Then comes Conor Llewellyn, Luke Hughes up to eighth, Burns and McNichol in tenth. Has great to see you on the top step. Talk us through that last lap. Well, when I went past the last lap board, Abby got through the onto the inside. Then coming up through the hairpin, I just got a little drift on her, and, and I managed to overtake her through the um, S's. And then, and it was a little bit of a roll to the last lap, and I'm just happy I won. <laughs> oh dear. You can only just see over the table. Uh, Liam Kelly on 94, then comes McClay on 90, passes on 87, Burns 82, Sweeney back into the top six on 75, tied with Abigail Gerry. Well, Liam Kelly there, extending his championship advantage. We'll be meeting another championship leader after the break. TKM's James Duxbury. See you then. <laughs>